What's up guys, it's Japarico here. So today I'm gonna talk to you about the eight things that I stopped doing that led me to become a successful trader. So the first thing is the screen time. Screen time, a lot of people think that if you spend lots of hours in front of the computer screen, you can make better trades. Actually, it's the opposite. The more time you spend, you start to see things that don't really exist on the charts. So we start to spot an opportunity that is not there. Once I decreased the screen time, I started to become more successful. I started to achieve more successful trades. Uh, the second thing is over trading. If you are over trading, and that's also connected to the first reason, if you are spending a lot of time in front of the screen, you end up over trading. What is over trading? You open more positions that are necessary and you start opening positions where there is no opportunity you start seeing things and because you start to see those things you think oh there is an opportunity here actually there's no opportunity so we stop over trading the third thing is stop focusing on high win rate everybody thinks about like high win rate all this the win rate is like 70 percent 80 percent sometimes even 90 percent those things do not exist actually the most successful traders have a very low win rate and then how come they can be so successful is because if they have a low win rate okay on those very few trades that they get right they can maximize the profits and for those trades where they get for those lots of trades where they get it wrong they can minimize the loss that's why they can become so uh, successful. Uh, the fourth thing is stop FOMO. Stop this uh, fear of missing out. A lot of people think, oh, they become very emotional when they trade. Honestly, I, I never become emotional. The more emotional you become when you trade, you can, this can lead you to lose a lot of money in the markets so stop the fear of missing out so hold up on your emotions and stay calm when there is opportunity you trade when there is no opportunity you don't trade uh the next thing is stop focusing on one single pair i've seen this kind of mistake all the time so once you learn like if you are still learning they make sense they focus on one pair but once you have learned how to trade the markets, you don't need to only focus on one pair. A lot of people, especially those fake gurus, they come up with these ideas of, oh, I only trade the DAX index, or I only trade the Euro USD. There is no need. Like if you, if you know how to trade, why not spotting like opportunities in different pairs, right? If there are opportunities in other pairs, and if you spotted that opportunity, why not, right? The next thing is stop only chasing the most uh, traded pair. So a lot of people were like, oh, I just focus on the Euro SD because it's the most popular one. Everybody's focusing on that one. So let's focus on that one. You're just following the crowd. Okay, you're not, you're not spotting opportunities where they exist. You're, you're trying to force an opportunity. So maybe sometimes the Euro USD is not trading very well, right? But if you focus only on that one, you will end up trading, even when the market's not going into your direction, and then eventually you will lose the money. Okay, uh, the next thing is uh, stop adjusting lot size according to wins or losses. And a lot of people do this and they don't even calculate, right? They're like, oh, okay, this time I, I won, so let me put more money on the next trade. Or, okay, this time I lost, so for the next trade, let's put less money. And without a concrete plan, without a concrete system. So I always tell my viewers, uh, whenever you set the lot size, that's always according to a defined plan, defined system. So you need to have a system. And the last uh, thing that I stopped uh, doing, trade without a plan, trade without a system. So stop doing this. You always need a plan. You always need a system. 
So whenever you're trading the markets, you have to have this plan that you always follow. Of course, the plan has to be successful because if the plan is not successful, <laughs> it doesn't work, right? So you need a successful plan, successful system. And by system, I don't mean like fully automated. Like your system can be uh, manual, like a manual system or semi-automated or fully automated. doesn't matter, but you need a concrete system. You need a concrete plan. Okay, so that's my uh, message for today. Hope you like it and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye.